Mm -hmm. This is uh, Grant's coffee. Thanks, Grant. Grant's coffee. <laughs> this is Grant's coffee. Where'd you get that? When he was over on his honeymoon. Oh, in Costa Rica. Costa Rica. Yeah. The coast of the Ricas. Coast of the Ricas. Yeah. Nice. The stinky um, coast. Grant, That's what that Grant means. Brought, brought you this? Yeah. Well, he brought both of us. He brought a, oh. a pound bag of coffee. Where, where's my coffee, Grant? You're drinking it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Today, we're gonna freeze dry some coffee. I've got some shots that I already pulled, and this is all espresso shots. So I filled ice cube trays with shots, and eight cubes equals a double shot. We're gonna use that as a baseline for measuring out our portion size. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill up the first few trays with just the ice cubes, and we'll go from there. These are just silicone ice cube trays, so you can kind of separate them out and get them broken apart. I'm gonna have some coffee fingers by the time I'm done. Yeah, yummy. So I'm gonna use these three ice cube trays that I've got. This is one ice cube tray, so I'm gonna divide them up between the four trays. We'll just start with a small batch, see what it does, and then I'll go from there. All right, I've got all the trays filled. I've got rows of three on the bottom three trays and rows of four on the top one. The top tray gets a little warmer. Hmm, tastes like coffee. And like I said, eight cubes will be a double shot. This is our completed product. A little funny, they just kind of melt down to these little tiny globs. So I will be scraping eight of these off a tray, taking weights. Man, that's a strong coffee smell. And, oh, wow, these stayed fluffy, okay but they are still dry. So apparently that's not gonna work. I tried weighing this out and it won't work even on our gram scale. It's it's uh, too lightweight, so by volume, this is one tablespoon, and that is a double shot. So this is freeze-dried coffee with creamer. We can go ahead and test her out today. Let's see if I can even pour it in the cup without losing it all. The rest of them I put in Mylar pouches and wrote on there two-shot coffee and creamer. So that way I can backpack them in. We'll just add hot water. She has a hot water in, in a beautiful, in a beautiful pink That's right. jar. Not <laughs> good. That's a lovely pink thermos you have there, right, sir. <laughs> yeah. And then add as much as you want. Hey, you're dripping all over the place. This yeah, is Jeff. creamered up and everything? That's creamered in everything. Awesome stuff. Maybe. Maybe it's awesome stuff. You don't know Good that enough. yet. Good enough. Okay. It needs more creamer in it. <laughs> it might. For you. Yeah, the creamer to coffee ratios. Yeah. I put two teaspoons of creamer in there and... I know that's not your typical six teaspoons, but here, have some hot water to rinse that yet. Okay. Thank you. Dip it in the snow way. All right. Wow. All right. So, so this is Steve's. This is Steve's home brew, freeze dried coffee. So what do you do? You brew it first? Yes. And then. Yeah, I, I just pulled double shots and froze them in ice cubes and then freeze dried them. All right, we have rehydrated with hot water. Man, what a fine day to drink a hot cup of coffee. Let's see. Not too bad. Notice how I let him drink first before I even tried mine. Not too bad. 
You need to give it 30 seconds to see if I start coughing Vomiting. up blood. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, works. yeah, it's not too strong at all. It works out. That's yeah. right. Yeah, so double shot is just right. It's good. We might be running down the trail here really soon, but it's not too bad. <laughs> By running, he means running. <laughs> running. For sure, the, the the cream or coffee ratio is not, that's not mine. But. Somebody prefers more creamer. Yeah, I do. I have a pouch of just black coffee. Yeah. Well, that, well, that helps. Yes. Yeah. Well, sometimes there, there's times when I, I like to have just a, you know, black coffee, if it's good quality. Mm -hmm. This is uh, Grant's coffee. Thanks, Grant. Grant's coffee? <laughs> this is Grant's coffee. Where'd you get that? When he was over on his honeymoon. Oh, in Costa Rica. Costa Rica. Yeah. The coast of the Ricas. Coast of the Ricas. Yeah. Nice. The stinky um, coast. Grant, That's what that Grant means. Brought, brought you this? Yeah. Well, he brought both of us. He brought a, oh. a pound bag of coffee. Where, where's my coffee, Grant? You're drinking it. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I still have a half pound left if you want the rest. It's uh, whole no, beans. No, I dismiss it. I know. Yeah. It's whole beans, but I was thinking if this turns out, I might just brew up the rest and, and brew it up. put four scoops of creamer in for you. Yeah. Yeah, it's not too bad. The smell of it, it smelled like um, Folgers. So I was kind of expecting the worst. Folgers? Yes. Folgers coffee? Yeah, it really did. It had that that aroma, the aroma of Folgers. I ever tell you the, the Folgers story? A couple of companies back, I, one of my distributors in, in Japan, mm -hmm. really nice people, and I'd go over to see them a couple times a year. And, and uh, when, I, when I was headed over, they said, Hey, Daniel, when, when you come to Japan, can you please bring um, coffee? Bring, bring Fulger, Fulger coffee, Fulgers. I said, uh, okay. Um, Why? It has to be Fulger. Yeah, we, we like Fulgers. We like Fulgers. So, okay. So I went went to the supermarket, tried, went and found the, you know, the cans of Fol Fulgers coffee. And yeah. I went, really, man? Okay. So... Took it over, took it over to Japan, saw everybody. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, you got to walk out of my Oh, I'm done. We should listen to it. Oh, Fulgers, Fulgers. That's not your best coffee, coffee option, right? So I, you know, I, I went back to the U.S. and I think, you know, maybe they just, that's all they know. They think that's all the Americans have is a crappy Folgers freeze dried coffee. You've tasted that crap before. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's terrible. It's, it's nasty. It's you know, dirt water. My it, this is my opinion, <laughs> personal yeah. opinion, and so that you know, I need to take them some nice coffee. So next trip over, I bring all these really nice. I mean, like all kinds of premium coffee. Went went around and scooped mm -hmm. up all the best ones I could find. Took them over, said, you know, hey, you know, hey guys, try, you know, try this out. Oh, hi, hi, oh. The lip service, thank you, thank you, but you can see the kind of yeah. discipline. Then, you know, I, I was waiting for him to say, wow, Daniel, that's great. That's great. You know, then it was kind of quiet, and then before the next trip, so, you know, I said, hey, so I'm headed over next week. You know, that's good. Hey, Daniel, um, when you come, huh? Um, uh, thank you for all the nice coffee, but... Uh, can you bring Fulgers? <laughs> okay. All right. You got it. Really? Fulgers it is. Yeah. Can't win. Can't win. I would say it uh, It rehydrates well. Mm -hmm. I think it's a matter of tweaking, tweaking the... Somebody's creamer. No, the creamer or the... Well, as far as... So some people don't like it as strong. Mm -hmm. I, I hate weak coffee. I like strong coffee I want to be really bold yeah so I mean it's a matter of tweaking tweaking the formula to, to get the recipe the way you know you the way you're taste used to yes requires well I could make it a quad shot no it's not so much 
<laughs> Con- well, <laughs> concentration is is the roast. How does it taste when you're when you're brewing it at home? I don't know. I've never brewed this one for That's for to, consumption. To do. Hi there. Um, How you I doing? usually do. I do a, a quad shot, but then I pull extra water through those, mm-hmm. and so I essentially fill my whole cup as if you're doing a drip brew, mm-hmm. but I'm pulling the shot too. So so I just keep pulling shots over shots. So I'll I'll pull a double shot and then pull again, and then dump, and then redo, pull a double shot, pull again, and my cup, my big cup is full. It, it's good stuff. <laughs> Why is everybody talking so slow? I don't know. That's really good stuff. I like it. <laughs> yep, not bad. Mm. You're gonna be buzzing. Oh, I need to get... oh shit, I'm screwed. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be able to sleep. I mean, I feel pretty good with the double shot now. You feeling buzzed? Well, I'm not buzzed, but I don't have numb lips yet. Yeah. <laughs> So these pouches don't. I'm just gonna taste it and sample. Oh, you're not gonna drink the whole thing? You want me to? You want me to be able to sleep tonight? No. I kind of want to taste it too, but. What would you know about good coffee? You're right. What would I? So this is. <laughs> uh so satisfying to insult you. That's okay. It's so satisfying. Somebody's got to. So, so as far as the... Yeah, yeah it's a little light. It's a little bit, you know, so depending on how yeah. how much water you add to it. Yeah. It smells good. A little bit light. So okay. you want to... Yeah. <clears throat> so I might be putting some uh, three shot or four shot per pack then. Mm-hmm. Or for you, uh-huh. since I'm doing pouches with creamers, yeah. just two pouches. Yeah, that's um. What about the flavor? It's good. That. Of course, the camera can't see you. Oh baby. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Can it? Can it see me now? See me now. This is, this is Steve's, home, freeze dried coffee. It's not Maxwell House, but it, it'll it'll do in a pinch. 